Welcome to Mobile Meals, Steve Duval and Tom Shaw from Thor Motor Coach. It is great to have you in the Mobile Meals kitchen. Yes, it is great to be back. And if you are joining us once again, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time, what we like to do here is show you some of the great things you can make using the tools in your motor home. But I need to set this up. We are not professional chefs. Not even kind of close. So <laughs> the motto of this show here is it's not really about presentation. It's more about the way it tastes. And today, what you have whipped up is going to taste great. Yes, it is. We've got sausage with bow tie pasta and asparagus. So it is really easy to do. We have our water boiling on our induction cooktop. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw in our pasta. And at the end of this segment, we'll go ahead and give you all the ingredient list. Why do I always make a mess? Every single time we cook, I am I, 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 I just make a mess. All right. And then so we're going to saute our sausage. So on your induction cooktop, you can either set your temperature or you can set a heat level one through 10. So however you want to cook it here. So what we're going to do is we are going to boil our pasta, toss in the asparagus within just a couple minutes just to go. the last couple minutes. Yep, that's all it takes. Tom, loves you love your vegetables. I do, especially asparagus is my favorite. And then we're going to take, chop up the sausage. We're going to throw in the onions and the garlic and a little cheese. So we're going to let this cook, we'll be right back. And as the sausage is cooking, you want to break it up into more bite-sized pieces. It's going to be easier to eat. It's going to cook faster. And then when that's cooked about through, you're going to take and you're going to throw in your onions and your garlic and saute it all together. All right, so we are about ready to throw in our onion and our garlic. The pasta is just about done, but what we did was we turned the water off because we want to time it out so everything's done at the same time. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw in our garlic and our onion right into the sausage here and get this all sauteed together and get that nice and delicious. Onion. The flavor, Tom. You need the flavor. Yeah. Instantly, you got that great aroma through your kitchen. And all you really want to do is just get those onions a little bit brown. We're only a few minutes out, so while Tom is sauteing the sausage and the onions and garlic together, I'm going to go ahead and toss the asparagus into that hot water. Let that go about two to three minutes, and then you mix it all together after you drain your pasta. We'll show you how to do that. Give us, give us a few minutes. We'll be right back. So the time has come to put it all together. We're going to go ahead and we're going to strain the pasta and the asparagus, put it in the bowl, and mix it with the sausage. I'll go ahead and start draining the water here. And it really didn't take long. We really, we had the asparagus in there for about three minutes. Or now, so. how do you know an asparagus is done? You are the master here. Well, uh, it depends on how you're cooking it, but when we got it here in the water like this, I do not want my asparagus to be um, overcooked or like. Um, Soggy? Yeah, it gets like soggy or slimy would be a, a term I would use. Slimy. And I prefer it to be a little bit more on the crunchy side. Okay. And like I said, it doesn't take very long, maybe like three minutes. And you mix it all together. Don't burn yourself. Mix it all together. Throw away your, drop your extra noodles on the floor because that's where they go. If you have dogs like we do, they'll appreciate the snack. Have a little cheese here. You go ahead and you sprinkle in your Parmesan. We also use turkey sausage in this because we want it to be a little bit healthier. You can go ahead and use any sausage of your choice. Yeah, crumble sausage would be yeah. would be great, but Italian sausage, that would be awesome in this. It's pretty easy, I would say. One aria? Yeah, one aria on our aria scale. So it's just that easy. The complete recipe is right at the end of this video. So we're gonna go ahead, let it cool down, plate that, it up. That cheese is melting. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna add some cheese on the top, I think. Have to have more cheese. You yeah. always have to add more cheese. But I always like, the, whatever the recipe calls for, I double it. That's just the way that I am. So the recipe is right at the end of this. We're gonna enjoy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Mobile Meals.